Welcome to Bench Africa's virtual reality experience. We're going to take you around Africa to show you what it's really like in one of the most amazing places in the world. Let's start off in East Africa. Welcome to the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. Can you hear that honking noise? That's the wildebeest moving around on their annual migration. At any given stage on that migration, you might have over 2 million animals moving together. Those wildebeest spend nine months of the year in the Serengeti before moving up into Kenya and crossing the rivers. Yeah, you can go right to the end of Sopa. Just over there is a four-wheel drive vehicle. Let's jump into that and get a different perspective. Now this isn't the whole herd of the migration. This is only a small herd maybe about 20,000 animals or so. The vehicle you're in though, is one of these four-wheel drive vehicles you see commonly all over East Africa. They're the best ones to handle the rough roads. But if you want wild animals, sometimes you need to drive on wild roads. There's one more thing East Africa has that I want to show you. There we are. At the base of the tree there is the silverback gorilla. He's the head of the family. And at about six foot tall and about 200 kilograms, this is as close as we're going to get to him. So if you want to see the gorillas, all you do is trek into these mountains and spend a morning hanging out with these incredible animals. There's quite a few of the younger gorillas here. There's one in the tree making all of that noise and a few more down in front of us. Africa is famous for its beaches, from the shoreline of Mozambique to the famed island of Zanzibar, which is about 200 kilometers down the coast. White sand, clear water, great snorkeling and scuba diving and all sorts of water sports. It's a perfect place to relax and wash off the safari dust. Now, as you can see, East Africa has a lot to offer. Let's head down to Southern Africa to see how it compares. Just a quick warning, we're gonna start off at Victoria Falls and it may get a little bit loud. Welcome to Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the world. The waterfall actually goes for over one and a half kilometers, all of it as wet as this. Okay, you cross the border to the Zimbabwean side of the waterfall and you're standing at the Victoria Falls Hotel, one of the most famous in the world. The little animals making those noises, the ones you can see running around, are mongoose, or a banded mongoose to be exact. They're actually looking through the lawns for something to eat. The other guest you see coming towards you is a warthog, or a pumba, as they're now known thanks to the Lion King. Don't worry, this warthog is friendly. So we've followed that Zambezi River back upstream. We find ourselves in Chobe National Park in Botswana. Now one of the most popular ways to explore the area is by houseboat. This national park is also famous for elephants, some of which you can see getting a drink from the river. Now, if you head further south in Botswana and away from the water, you'll find yourself in the Kalahari Desert, home to these beautiful animals. These guys here are meerkats, distant cousins of the mongoose you saw earlier at Victoria Falls. It's possible to come here and spend a morning with them as they go about their daily routines. Now, a lot of the animals in Africa, you can see in multiple places. 
There's only a few that are localised. Gorillas are one of them, meerkats are another, and penguins, seen down south in Cape Town. A lot of the other animals, giraffes, lions, elephants, etc., you can see throughout various parts of Africa. Alright, it's time to go. Let's head to South Africa. Let's take you up in the air in the Kruger area. You can see how thick the bush is here. Compare that to the balloon, the Serengeti, and how open it was. This is one of the major differences in region to region. Every part of Africa has a different ecosystem and provides a different experience when you visit, even if they have similar animals. You'll find in Africa some of the loveliest people you'll ever meet, including the guides, like Beerkiss at Makutsi Safari Springs. One of the things they teach us um, is to constantly look for body language. And the elephants would tell you that if they want the space where you are, and I have not picked up anything yet. They are feeding, they're in feeding mode, there's no aggression. So even at this distance, it's fine. By the way, do you guys hear the jackal in the background? Wow, 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 wow. Jackal, side stripe jackal. The moment they tell you they're not happy with your presence, you just move away. Give them that space. It's much better that way. Positive reinforcement, you know. Thank you for taking part in Bench Africa's virtual reality experience. That's just a small part of what Africa has to offer. If you have any further questions, just talk to anybody from Bench Africa and they'll be happy to help.